I really appreciate you joining me today and this is some news coming from Spain and it involves an importation that has been seized and an organisation that has been arrested that has connections to the Mexican Mafia. This shows how far drugs can travel around the world before they arrive in Europe and the UK and are distributed on the streets of your city. More than 200 officers took part in arrests across Madrid and Guadalajara in relation to an importation gang that was smuggling thousands of kilos of marijuana and also cocaine. The operation the police have said in a statement has been going on for over two years and it was first brought to their attention via the Customs Surveillance Service where they discovered there was links to the Mexican Mafia. The first investigation made it possible to seize 1,000 kilos of cannabis and 37 kilos of cocaine and they also dismantled two laboratories that were responsible for processing and distribution of the drug. During the raids this week, police seized submachine guns, handguns and millions of pounds worth of property. And at the same time of these raids, they've put out other European arrest warrants. And this is what I'm talking about by different countries working together to be able to combat drug importation. The organisations had a structure in countries like Spain, Colombia, Switzerland and also Portugal. And they laundered money through criminal activities. 24 people have been arrested and 13 searches were carried out in different areas of Madrid. The police had put them under surveillance and they noticed that several members of the Mexican cartel had arrived in Spain and they noticed that they'd bought luxury homes and invested millions of pounds into areas in the city. They also discovered that there was visiting Guadalajara and having meetings with plantation owners and arranging the importation of thousands of kilos of cannabis. With further investigation, the police said they identified a family clan with links to the Mexican cartel and they had introduced to the country tens of millions of pounds of cash and also a lot of gold to invest in Spain. The police have seized several vehicles and also high-end homes as well as acquiring several businesses that they believe were being used to launder money. The police said there was laundering the money from the plantations through companies in Spain, Switzerland and Portugal. They discovered there was also producing CBD in factories in Switzerland and also Portugal. Alongside the importation of cannabis, they also smuggled cocaine in coffee packages using mules. So this means they'd put the drugs inside the bodies of people in order to get past borders. So this story definitely shows the intricate nature of some of these importations and how organised some of these groups are. I really appreciate you joining me for this episode and I really want to hear what people have to say. And don't forget to send your stories to news at scarcitystudios.com and I'll be back again very shortly with the bigger picture only on Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Peace. Thank you.